Hi, my name is Parapi. In this video, I'll show you the procedure for simulating incompressible parallel plates flow using the LES Magorinsky model in OpenFall. First, let me show you the result of the simulation performed in this video. As this plate gives some kind of turbulent state as an initial condition, how to give will be explained later. Gives a periodic boundary condition to the two surfaces, and the front surface and opposite, as well as two surfaces vertical to the Z axis. The other two blue faces are the wall boundary. So this is Poiseuille flow between parallel plates. Okay, let's start. The job is created by copying the tutorial case. If you want to use Smagorinsky model of incompressible flow, it is easy to copy uh, this uh, opt open form 7 tutorials incompressible in form LES channel uh, 395. The working directory can be anywhere. Okay, successfully copied and pasted. There are two solvers for single phase incompressible unsteady turbulence flow, piece of form and the pimple form. The big difference between them is that pimple form supports mesh deformation too. This time I will use pimple form, although the mesh is not deformed. Then first of all, create a mesh. As I showed you earlier, since the calculation area is rectangular, it can be created only with block mesh. Let's start editing block mesh dict. First, there are mm, 12 vertices. The arrangement is as shown in the figure. So there are two blocks. This is because the mesh is cut so that the mesh width stretches from near the wall. The mesh width setting is specified in simple grading. And you can only set the ratio of the uh, first and the last mesh width in each direction of x, y, z. In other words, the width can be specified only by either simply increasing or simply decreasing. So the rectangular parallel pipe is uh, divided in two. Since the x and the z axis are all one, the mesh width is cut with the same length. There is nothing to set about edges. In boundary, you need to set the wall boundary and the periodic boundary conditions. Since 0, 1, 7, 6, and 4, 10, 11, 5 are walls set like this. The vertex number is described so that it is clockwise when viewed from the inside of the calculation area. For boundary conditions, to impose a periodic boundary, the type is cyclic. Then specify the paired patch in the variable called neighbor patch. If you write like this, the two patches of size 1 uh, half 0 and size 1 half 1 are the periodic boundary conditions. This is how to set the periodic condition. Do the same for the rest. This completes uh, the setting for this file. Let's see the control dict. For application, specify the solo bar you want to use, pimple form. You don't need to edit the rest. The functions at the bottom, uh, this is, I will delete this section this time. It is a setting that output the D 
the average and the fluctuation components uh, of the velocity and the pressure fields in real time. Uh, when I want to custom variable fields like vorticity, I mainly use post-processing after uh, the end of calculation. So I am not familiar with the setting during calculation. And deleting this does not affect the calculation. Next, let's look at the constant directory. Three files are stored in like this. FV, FV option seems to be a file that sets op, uh, operation for cells addition uh, of source terms, etc. A dictionary called momentum source is set, which is a dictionary uh, when adding a source term to the equation of motion. When the type is a mean velocity force, momentum is added to the fluid so that the time average value of the velocity becomes the value specified by u bar below. Selection mode is the designation of the place to give the source term. It is given to the fall area with O. Specify U in fields. To be honest, I didn't understand the intention because I first en uh, encountered how to give such a source term. I think the flow can be driven by the source term since the boundaries are the, uh, than the walls are all periodic boundary, not direct red. Perhaps I am saying something irrelevant. Next, about transport properties. U bar and kinematic viscosity coefficient are set. I don't know why I need to configure U bar here as well. I will leave it for uh, the time being, for this time. Ok, let's look at the setting of turbulence properties, which is the main part of this video. Here, set up the smuggling scheme model. First, specify LES for simulation type. Set the details in the LES dictionary. LES model is written as whale and you will select the eddy viscosity model you want to use here. So change this to Smagorinsky. Turbulence is on. Print coefs is an on-off switch for uh, whether to load the LES uh, settings when calculating. Whichever is OK. The next delta is a variable that specifies the calculation method of the filter weight used in the LES model. If cube root pole is set, the cube width of the cell volume is set as a filter width. With open form, there seems to be uh, six different methods for calculating the filter width. Uh, there are more detailed parameters uh, for each calculation method, and the settings will be made using the subdictionaries below. In case of cube root ball, only one coefficient needs to be set. The rest of frontal coefs and fan list coefs uh, are written. But they are not used in this calculation, so delete them. The parameters that you must set when you use the Smagorinsky model are uh, the filter width and the proportional constant. In the Smagorinsky model, the eddy viscosity coefficient is given by the, the equation as displayed. CK and CE are proportional constants. Some books express CS instead of CK and CE. In open form, 
It is specified to use CK and CE instead of CS by default. It can be specified in this file, but for some reason, it is not written by default. If nothing is written, the default value are, values are CE equal 1.048 and CK equal 0.094. If you want to adjust it, create your own sub-dictionary named Smagorinsky Coefs, then in the section specify like this. Leaves of default value for now. Lastly, initial conditions and boundary conditions. Let's see the time directory. There are two similar direction uh, directories. 0 and 0 dot original. Since 0 is specified for start time in control D, the one that is red is 0. Let's look inside 0. The variable file is stored in compressed format. For example, uh, looking at the velocity, There are many numbers in the internal field. This is the entity of the initial condition shown at the beginning of this video. It is 60,000 lines uh, for the number of meshes. I think it is compressed. Uh, uh, it is compressed because the size is large. Since this is a tutorial case, the initial value is prepared, but usually uh, you need to prepare it yourself. Generally, it seems that the theory is to map the calculation result of runs or L the LES calculation result of course mesh. Going down, there is a section that specifies the boundary conditions. Specify the wall is no slip and the other boundaries are periodic boundaries. It's easy. The velocity is like this. For the remaining variable files, uh, the Smagorinsky model only re requires u, p, and nu, t. Nu, t is mm, the eddy viscosity coefficient. Others can be deleted. I still don't know uh, the timings to use them. Is it necessary when using a two equation turbulence model? Next, for p.gz, there is a section that specifies the boundary conditions at the bottom, as well as velocity. The wall is zero gradient, the rest is cyclic. Finally, about how to give the eddy viscosity coefficient boundary conditions. Set to zero gradient to finally cut the normal mesh near the wall. If you want to save the mesh, using the wall function seems like theory. I am still studying about wall function. This time, let me use zero gradient. This completes the settings for this file. For those who know the wall function but do not know how to write it in open form, here is a supplement. If you execute uh, form info hyphen k wall function, you can run anywhere. The source files uh, related to wall function are listed. From here, if you input the result that seems to be a wall function, uh, such as number 13, the file description and usage will be displayed. You can also use this as a hint to find 
find out how to specify the wall function. Then create a mesh and submit the job. I will output the log. Ok, calculation has started. Let's wait until the end. Ok, it's over. Now, let's see the result with far view. Apparently, it seems that the calculation is done properly. You can see the velocity field and the, the pressure field. The kinematic viscosity coefficient is not loaded by default. With Pipeline Browser, select the case directory name and select the checkbox from value fields in properties to load it. Then you could see it. And that's all for this time. Thank you for watching so far. I will continue to post videos about Fluid. So please subscribe to this channel if you like. Bye bye.